Hello, it's Sharon. So today we're going to be making flower fairies using pegs and artificial flowers or leaves. I'm just going to show you that. Now, where I live, there's a park and it has lots of fairy doors in it. So that's a bit of an inspiration for me to do this today. I just thought it'd be quite nice. Now, I wouldn't be putting mine outside, but if you've got a plant pot that you can slide it, just pop it on the edge of it, slide it on, it'd look quite pretty. But you can just use them as decorations and they're nice to make with your family or for a gift. So I'm just going to pop that lady, little lady down and I'm going to show you what to do. So I've got a peg. There we go, you can see better. I'm just going to move this a little bit. Everything's sliding around today. There. Oops. So I've got myself a peg. So first thing to do is draw a face on. Make sure that as in, if it was a person, the legs are facing forward. So the gap's down the front, down here. Um, we can put the face on there. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's on the side at all, but it's just probably easier. So you can draw on a face. So I'm giving mine some nice blue eyes. Oops. Have a look. Lovely blue eyes. And we're going to put a lovely smiling mouth on. Go for a dark pink. Let's have a look. We don't want them all to have exactly the same face. There we go. Put a lovely smile on. And we'll give her some eyebrows. I'm going to give her darkish ones because she's going to have dark hair. So we'll do brown ones. There we go. And give her some eyebrows. There we go. So there we have a little face on there. Now I found in my cupboard that as well as having the flowers, because I'll just show you some of the flowers, the easiest way is just to... Oops pull the flower apart and then take the petals apart take them off and you can fold them in half I folded mine for the for the fairy that I did first it was in three pieces so I just folded it across I put a little blob of glue in the middle so we had this shape and then I just stuck them round for the skirt I did the same for the top but I used the inside of the flower for her top And for her hair, well, for her hair piece, for her hat, we've just used this and I've taken it away from the stem and I've cut it in half and we've just popped it on as a hat. To make the wings, so just show you these. Oops. I've got some very fine netting and I've cut it into a heart shape and then I just sort of cut cut away a few bits and we've put some wings on the first fairy that we did and I thought I'd make some for the second one so that's a flower fairy this one's more of a woodland fairy that I'm going to be doing now so we've we've done the face and I've got I do a lot of um, felting making felt squares and things so I have this felting wool here and it's perfect to make hair. So when I found the artificial flowers, there was a an acorn, an artificial acorn. So I've cut the acorn part out and we're just going to use, oops, need another glue stick. And here we have one ready. The glue gun's quite hot at the moment. You don't need a glue gun. If you've got a good strong glue, that will be fine. And inside there, we're just going to push this little piece of fluff it's the best description for it and we're going to put a blob of glue in there again this might be a bit big and we might have to do a bit of rearranging when we start but we're just going to pop the peg into there Oops. and there we have she has a an acorn helmet Oops. And she's got some flowing locks. 
there so we need to give her some clothes now so we're going to use the leaves that we've got so i'm just going to move her hair out of the way for now push it back just going to be careful with that hot glue gun remember when you're not using the glue gun turn it off always a good thing and i'm just going to rearrange and see what we can do with these and then we'll continue so i had a quick look and decided what to do so i got three leaves and i cut them in half now these are artificial and what we're going to do next i'm just going to put a bit of glue around where her waist would be oops we go and we're going to stick on one of the the halves first just going to put that round doesn't have to be completely on i don't have it stuck to her too tightly there we go so that's your first one you can buy these um i found them in a charity shop these these fake leaves so this is my autumn fairy let's have a look so we're going to put a bit more glue around that waist oops we go and a bit on here they can overlap because they'll look better if they do so we're going to put that on oops press it on and we're going to put the final one on the back so we're just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of her there we go remember good strong glue is perfectly fine There we go. Now you might need just to put a tiny dollop on there, just on the edge. Just bring it slightly over so it just touches. So there we have the bottom of her skirt. Oops. I have a feeling it may drop off at some point, the glue gun, so I do apologise for any noise. Um, but yeah, so there we have the skirt. So now we need to make the top. Now the ends that we cut off, the end of the leaves we can use these to make a top so we can just sort of fashion them round her so we're going to put a bit of glue on her body Oops. and we're just going to put those leaves to make a top so I'm just going to delicately stick them on show you the first one there we go, so we've got one on, so we're going to continue sticking them round and we're going to make a nice sort of jacket or something for her from these. Oops, let's have a look. Just be careful with the, the air because if the glue gets on it, it goes a bit matted and nasty. There. Just going to press that down. And we're going to add this one now. There we are. I'm going to bring this around the back of her because she doesn't look like she's got anything on the back. She will have in a moment. We're going to use the bottom of this leaf that was left. Just going to snip that off there. These, this is something nice to do on a not so nice day. Oops, and we're going to stick some glue on there. Just be careful with the glue gun because it's very hot, as I've just found out. Um, and we're just going to stick this one on the back. I'm just going to bring it across. A little bit more glue on here. Just push that in. Oops. Like I say, be very careful with this with the glue gun so they do get really warm this one's been on a while now so it's quite hot so just going to push everything down a moment just hold it count to about 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and there we go that is glued on now what we've also got so she looks like she's got quite a obviously she's an autumn fairy so she's this is quite a warm looking leaf jacket that she's wearing oops Bit more glue. There we go. Just stick that on. 
Perfect. Just a little bit more. Oops. Always use your newspaper just to keep your work area clean. Hold it on a moment. And there. So now we're going to decorate her up a little bit more just to make her look a bit more fancy because she's beautiful. But she's a bit plain. So I found some berries that was on this um, thing that that I got this flower this artificial flower so we're going to stick a few berries on so we've got one there oops and I think we could put another one somewhere let's have a look I'm going to put one here just on the dress squeeze squash them on a little bit and there we go so now I found this and I think this looks quite good she can sort of carry it and have this at the side of her so we're just going to fix that on as well so we're just going to put a, a line of glue it should stick to that quite well oops And we're just going to pop some wings on now. So I've got a lot of bits of glue stuck to me. They're just easy to pull off when you've finished. Just going to show you that fairy that we're making. So the wings now. So just a small dab of glue on the back. I made the wings earlier when I did the pair for the other. So there are the wings. And we're just going to glue that on. Now if you want, you could always use a bit of glue and put some glitter on the wings to make them look very fairy like oops bring her air around oops and there you have an autumn fairy so I'll show you the flower fairy again there we have autumn fairy and a flower fairy uh, they do, don't take too long to do and they're quite fun to make if you don't if you can always use cotton wool for the hair i'm just looking at the hair because not everybody has the felting wool or you could use wool and just sort of rough it up a little bit and it'll go fluffy uh, so there we are thank you for joining me hope you enjoy making them please let send us your comments let us know what you think and um, let us know, you know, I want pictures. I'd love to see everybody's flower fairies. Thank you. Bye.